So, you can go back to Vulgrim and power up your Blade Geyser, but beyond that, if you, uh, go, if you go into the Twilight Cathedral as underprepared as I am, there's little else you can do to get out of it. I like how you talked over me falling in the lava without even mentioning it. Like, I would have thought that would have at least distracted you. I was sitting here thinking, I wonder if he's gonna get distracted at all, but no. I'm a Unwavering, sir. I I'm a professional. Like a stone. Well, waves waves is, washing over a stone. Well, the thing is also is I, you know, I could rag on you about about missing that jump or just running off into the lava, but the fact is, is that the jumping mechanic in this game is not the most tight. Uh, true, but still, come on. You had an opportunity to take a pot shot at me and you totally let it go by. I'm a professional, sir. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Also, it's important to note that the treasure chest you got, you just got, it's vital that you uh, save it for after you've gotten all three swords. Yep. Because you will be... because this takes us up to the main boss chamber. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're actually waiting for it to happen, you've got quite a while. I know, that's why I just <laughs> I do like how the how it comes full circle though. Yeah, that is it is pretty nice. Like This is still my favorite thing about this whole section is that you know all that for a door to open and bum 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 bum. <laughs> then you head through, and guess what? It fucking locks behind you with the exact same seal. All that work for two seconds of that door being opened. Jesus Christ. It's like the Matrix. Wow. My brain actually had to listen to what you said, then remember the Matrix, and then, like, you got a chuckle that you probably couldn't even hear. <laughs> that was the end result. It was literally like we just played through the Twilight Cathedral just for that joke. <laughs> I swear to God, we didn't. That was on the spot, I swear. Awesome rain effects. So two things. One, I'm very sad that the poor horse lost, and two, bat boobs are weird. <laughs> so, Tiamat. Named after a dragon, I think, right? Tiamat's a, a dragon in mytho uh, Arabic mythology, or not um, Arabic? Um, I honestly, sorry, I honestly, Babylonian mythology, I think. I honestly don't know. Um, my only experience with Tiamat was uh, in Final Fantasy VIII as sort of an opposite to Bahamut. Yeah, well, essentially, although Bahamut's a whole, whole different story, but in, in Babylonia, I think uh, Tiamat is... Uh, I'm trying to think of an equivalent. Maybe the, the fucking worm that eats the world in Thor, uh, or in uh, Norse mythology. It, it's basically big, bad, evil dragon, and I'm pretty certain that the world was made out of her bones and shit when she was killed. Anyways, useless information, but yes, Tiamat is not a bat, I think is what I was trying to go with. Well, that explains why she breathes fire. Or spits it Fair. So, big thing you want to do is get away when she's attacked. Um, the way this fight works, like, let me... Let's go back to what we should be talking about. Um... Tiamat continually moves around the arena. You can use these inert bomb grows to throw on her, then use your crossblade. In stage two of this fight, she will just come at you straight up with her claws. Dodge before she swings down and you won't even get hit. I think she'll do it three times. Yep, there it is. Then, uh, as I was saying, you can throw inert bomb growths on her, use the crossblade to charge on the fire, and getting one hit in on her will go ahead and blow this up. Um, 
that will cause her to come down and let you do damage. Now, the other thing about the fight is you can actually throw an inert bomb growth at her while she's doing her fire spell, and that will light it on fire and blow her up almost instantly. So it's just really fucking hard to do. Hmm. I was, uh... Mmm, I love that. Little... Yeah, that's one of my favorite little in-cutscene things. If She will throw you off the side, and you'll get pretty fucking hurt if, uh, if you do it wrong. Which I have. Yeah, me too. Because that's the only... I think that's one of the few, like, press to X to not die QTEs in this game. Yeah. So, this section. Once she's down, it becomes a much more melee-oriented battle. Um, what you want to do is just get in close and take as much time as you can to hit her. She will go up and bomb you every now and then, or use fire. Fire is just a dodge thing. Not much you can do about it. Right. You may be able to block it, actually. I'm not 100%. Her melee attacks can be blocked and countered, just like I did right there. Only thing you gotta worry about is when she does this little dive bomb. But you can just run straight in, use the crossblade to keep her busy, and hack and slash, as long as you're uh, blocking at the right moments. And when she's weak is when you actually do damage. I think we're actually almost done with this. Yep. Uh, the only thing, the only other thing to note is that the, uh, you know, obviously she does more damage and takes more damage to kill on Apocalyptic. But of that, course. That kind of goes without saying. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm pr pretty sure she'll almost one-shot you on half these things, I guess. Oh, there's no B. God, that's fantastic. Oh, I love that image. Whoosh. That right there reminds me of Predator. <laughs> the laugh as she dies. Yeah. It's causing with power. You really think he's going to let you live long enough to collect on your end? So we've got a Heart of the Chosen and a achievement like a bat out of hell. Nice uh, meatloaf res reference, I guess. Or old idiom reference. Uh, you gain a life stone for killing him and a portal. Very reminiscent of another video game series. I don't know which one though. All of them. Contra. Okay. Tragic. Without your feathered friend, how will you escape this prison of rock? I'll find a way. You have certainly proven yourself resourceful. Perhaps I can provide a quicker way. Speak plainly, demon. Serpent holes, ancient paths that worm their way beneath the husk of this dead world and beyond. I use them to get about, and for a price, so can you. What do you want, Baldrum? A trifle, really? The Chosen's heart. I felt its power the moment you stepped from that tower. You wound me, horseman. I would never come between you and your friend Samayan. No, I only wish to look at the heart. One glance, and our bargain is sealed. <laughs> Samayan will be pleased. The servant holes are yours, horseman. Seek me out when you wish to use them. 